938 your time right now. Here at home, the Republican race for governor beginning to take shape. Agriculture Commissioner Adam Putnam became the first GOP candidate to throw his hat in the ring. I caught up with Putnam earlier this week for today's one on one. You've held elective office since you were 22 years old. Is that more than 20 years now? Uh, almost 20 years? Some would say that has all the makings of a career politician, to which you would say, well, I was thrilled to kick off this campaign yesterday with 2,000 people who gathered up in the big city of Bartow, people who had traveled from all over the state because they believe that I'm the most prepared candidate to be governor of the state of Florida. I'm a farmer. I'm a citrus and cattleman. And, and I believe that that's the type of experience that has always infused my public service. I mean, I, I think that people, we are shaped by who we are and where we come from. And my roots are in agriculture. My roots are in the land. My roots are in private property rights. The amendment to the Constitution on marijuana. The people have spoken. The lawmakers can't get their act together. This is a never-ending saga. What would you do if elected governor? It's frustrating that the legislature finished without solving that problem. The voters uh, overwhelmingly adopted a medical marijuana amendment. Uh, it's important that it be faithfully implemented. It's important, I believe, that it be narrowly implemented so that it doesn't turn into a recreational piece, it, that we don't turn Florida into California or Colorado. Health care, very important here to Floridians. Uh, one of the big sticking points uh, right now in Washington is pre-existing conditions, which would allow the states to opt out. What would you do? Here's the frustrating thing about health care in Florida today, and frankly, health care around the country. More than half of the counties only have one option. Obamacare has driven competition out of it. It has stepped between patients and their doctor, and it has, and it has decimated choices in people's health care decisions. And so for Florida, uh, where health care is over a third of the state budget, and so how we fund our state budget is largely, unfortunately, dictated by the games that are being played in Washington. President Trump won, or Trump won Florida by 1%. We're talking about a purple state here. Um, you're not a big fan. You were not a big fan of, of the candidate, of candidate Trump. So my question is, uh, now that he is president, will that change the way you run for governor in any way? Well, I did support President Trump. And what's important in this race is where Floridians are. Florid Floridians want someone who knows our state and knows how to solve problems. Floridians want Florida to be the launch pad for the American dream. And I believe that uh, as we travel the state in preparation for the 2018 campaign, it is going to be a matter of what's the right decision at this moment for the future of the state of Florida. As you know, there hasn't been a Democrat in the uh, state house since 1999. We're talking about 18 years now. Um, some people, some people want to change. So. Um, how would you go ahead and attract those non-Republican voters? The issues that people are focused on are solving problems. There's not a Republican or Democrat way to improve our schools, to protect our Second Amendment rights, to create a free enterprise system that's, that makes Florida the launch pad for the American dream, that people move here to start their business, to launch their business, to raise their families, to live in a state that's safe because we support our law enforcement. Those are, those are issues that transcend the types of horse race politics that people associate with Washington. The most important issue on the minds of Floridians, you think, is what? I think that uh, the most important issue on the minds of Floridians is not letting Florida go down the way of the New Yorks and the Californias and the Illinois where you have a bloated bureaucracy, high taxes, and big government. People come to Florida and people stay in Florida because it is a state where you can find your piece of the American dream.